Hello, ladies, gents, and some fake ass pretend ninja cosplayers. Dirk, he bamboozled me. He th he told me he was like, "I'm the greatest ninja this side of the river. You cannot go wrong with me." Instead, what I got was a fat ass cosplayer trying to pretend to be a real person. Please, Margo is here to set the record straight. She's here to show you exactly who's in charge, who's the boss, and who is going to be the most badass Blunker of all time. Going to grab our customary Sloth Boy. He is very used to it. Don't even uh, worry about his well-being because basically this happens to him every single day of his life on life or whatever. Like if he goes even a single day without being crushed, he just doesn't even feel complete inside. So it is very important to keep up with that, uh, that entire uh, the entire routine otherwise he just feels off you know how sometimes in your own life you get up on your on your day off work or in whatever your life is supposed to be you go into the weekend you do something that is entirely different to what you usually do maybe you stay up until three in the morning then you get up in uh, Sunday morning and you're you don't you, you don't brush your teeth when you always brush your teeth and you just feel off for the entirety of the day. That is what happens with Rafi. If you do not crush him at least once a day. Well, we have encountered a pit of doom. <laughs> Carrying that rock. I don't respect it. We encountered a pit of garbage. And I don't feel pleased with my current my current uh, status. Okay, my... my speakers are way too loud hopefully the microphone wasn't picking it up well the probably can get away with playing it pretty damn loud without the microphone picking it up is the microphone only picks up stuff that is very close to my face i believe they call them dynamic microphones but i am a complete zero where it comes to nomenclature nomenclature about audio and stuff like that so take it with a grain of salt anyway we have been doing violence against these people for the longest time it has been pretty damn awful, all the things that they have suffered our hands. And today, today, it's gonna be no different. Okay, he is going behind me. It's all good. Everything's perfect. I am trying to get that that sparrow spawned, so that's why I went out of my way to take such risks. Usually I would have just resorted to violence like a reasonable human being would do when presented with this situation but no i need to go out of my way to not even make them suffer that much Ugh. and in fact i think i'm going to bomb my way down to hopefully avoid that scumbag altogether there's yang well it does take two bombs to get complete avoidance huh i mean i have a freaking torch if you don't kill turkeys when you have a torch in your hands you're some kind of moron uh, <laughs> Yeah, it would be great to disturb the idol so I have a, a path forward. Can I make it? I guess we can try to make it back up there. Hope that the shopkeeper doesn't murder me outright. Don't do it. Evil. Lizard. Oh, yeah. Cooked turkey, baby. It looks like a shopkeeper continuing on being someone else's problem. Oh, he's down there. Uh, it's a very upsetting path here. I have to go back and use my bomb anyway. Look, I am determined. Uh, this will actually piss off Yang. Wow, what a terrible... This will piss off Jan Yang, what I'm about to do. So let's, let's get away from him. Yeah, 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 look at that. They call him Yang, that's just short for Antonio Banderas. It's like this short version. Well, now I get access to your turkey. So who's laughing now? I'm laughing. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> All right, we got a weirdo. Doesn't like me. We have a filthy mole. Please, no shopkeeper at the exit. Please, no bully. No bully. I would like to leave this place with a weapon, though. And that is getting greedy. It's freaking greedy. Just leave. Just leave. Just... Just six, six size peas, brother. Okay, we don't really want any of those things. Again, I am committed to this path. 
I feel like I have been neglecting it a little bit. Constantly giving myself the excuse that, ah, it's an easy thing. We can pull it off at any point. Well, clearly we cannot because I've been failing so miserably at it. Nice. I don't want to alert him. And you know, I'm always facetious with the entire murdering shopkeepers at all costs. But it is fun to just have variety. And that's something that I will continue to be happy with. Just have very, very varied runs. Every day, something new, something different. You get a little bit of this and a little bit of that. This lizard can be the ender of all things. I think I'm going to wait until one of those shotgun pellets goes into the lizard's face. Please, do. I know he can get up here. I'm basically taking a gambit of just waiting up here, hoping that he doesn't jump. Now we are forgiven. We are not forgiven. I did not steal. It is possible the shopkeeper at the top that got real mad at me, it's possible he jumped into spikes. And that does mean that he will they will be mad forever like I did it. Once you aggro a shopkeeper and they fall into spikes, it is actually counting as it was your fault. Having gone to the jungle, Volcano did not pan out all that well in the previous episode, but I blame 100% that freaking imposter, that filthy cosplayer that bamboozled me into thinking he was a real ninja. He was nothing! It was absolute trash. And I blame him 100% for our demise. Definitely want to do enough damage to Mole Man. Please don't hurt me. Do enough damage to Mole Man for him to explode into delicious bombs. Very much interested. Would you like to be my, the interest, instrument of my violence? Hey, nice. All right, let's go into the jungle. It is longer. That guy honestly don't like the jungle as much as I do, Volcana. Because it takes so long. It is tortuous. It is not really torturous, but it is tortuous. Navigating your way through the jungle. All the maze-like stuff. I'm telling you, the first shopkeeper the in 1-3, the shop guardian, he totally jumped into spikes. And that is why this man is here. <coughs> Look, if he's so damn stupid that he has hit himself, I will embrace it. Okay, I'm just going to take his shotgun. It, uh, if, uh, if a man is too damn stupid to avoid literally throwing his head onto my shoe, like that man just grabbed my shoe, wind, wound back a strike, and hit himself in the head with it. That is how stupid that guy was. He deserves a Darwin Award, and we were only so damn kind not to give it to him. It's all right, though. He will just starve to death forever stuck in wherever he was. And nothing of value will be lost. Whee! All right. There's no real reason to mess with things. There is a reason to go that way, though. Let me go back up. I really don't like the entire area with the idols, but it should be okay to do something like that. Wow. I thought that that ghost spot was go a goner. Don't do it! It is near... near guaranteed that destroys the Super B. Yeah. Basically. Free health. Did not even get touched by the stupid drones. They were directionless. They were without purpose in life. And that's what got them. It wasn't my incredible ability to shoot them in the face. It was their lack of direction. Like a purpose. Let me get out of here. I'm not going to be forgiven for a long time, if at all. I think we have racked up a good six righteousness righteousness points right now. But it's hard to keep track. It's really not that hard, actually. Just Do you kill a shopkeeper? That's five floors. Do you anger a shopkeeper? 
in some way, and it was your fault. That's two points. And shopkeeper kills do stack. So if you kill two shopkeepers in a run, basically just give up. The climbing gloves are so evil to get through this nonsense. It's so bad to get through such things. There should be a toggle, you know, the way that they work. Because I would definitely go back to the way that they used to work, I think. It's alright, it's okay, everything's fine. We're going to find a Kali out and she's going to bestow her favor upon us. Stupid curse! This guy is also a pain. I want to go in there and save Tulip, though. Tulip deserves our help. She's a good girl. She does nothing to earn her fate. This is weirdo, though. All right. Tulip, here I am. I am cursed. Don't be afraid. Don't be startled. Uh, there's a black mark in this level. Do you guys know there was a black market in this level? We managed... Ooh, la, la, la. We managed to get through all of it without getting any pings. What the freaking hell, brother? Where in the hell is the entrance? I would have to assume it's all the way down there. Which is a nightmare. Not here. What the? F Can I at least give me a hint? <laughs> Can you give me a hint? Okay, it looks to be actually very far up in the middle. So how do we miss it? This is so bad. Did it blink before? It may have blinked before and I just did not notice. Oh, you know, it is possible. You know, it is also a possibility. That I never got the Ujarai. That is a possibility. <laughs> Alright, I am cursed, that is why. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I am cursed and that is why the ghost comes at 2.30. Th gonna make it through. Alright, well, I'm not going to throw into the garbage. Because we still have a chance without the crown. To get lucky, basically. This man's still angry here. No, he's, he's gone. I don't know whatever happened to him. I am cursed. This is terrible. I don't feel good. But, uh, you know. I'm sticking with it. I'm not about to throw this away. We have pulled out of worse uh, places. Actually, no, that is not true. I may give up on the bow, though. <laughs> That's holy crap. How many complications do you want? Maybe try to make this into a run where... We uh, meet with Sparrow, even though, like, we didn't actually meet her. Oh, because I think I did not get forgiven, which means she doesn't spawn, right? It's actually more complicated, more uh, complex and difficult than I gave it credit. There it is. I only have one bomb, though, so we kind of need to dig our way to it. And I don't think it's going to last enough. Please, don't break. All right. <laughs> I don't know if I want it anyway. I'm taking it. Oh, boy. Like, this is uh, mighty presumptuous of me. Mighty conceited that uh, I am actually going to take this run anywhere close to a win. Nope. Uh, no picture submit. So that. Oh. Bow. <laughs> Look, I do question. I don't know if I earned that. I, I will I will reserve judgment on that. I do question though the fact that the arrow bounced back into me as opposed to forward. You know, <laughs> but it was already a pretty doomed run. Uh through no no fault of my own, the Ujarai simply did not spawn in the caves. I think everybody can be a witness to that. The Ujarai just wasn't in the caves in this particular run. It just wasn't there. What do you want me to say? It was just a broken level generation. And I only did as much as I could do with it. Oh, nice. A Kali Altar? It's so often. So often that I desire Kali to bestow her favor upon me. 
but she doesn't grace me with her presence and now we can maybe get away with the most atrocious crimes oh baby look you get an extremely easy to steal jetpack you gotta do it does this throw it out of the store let's do it okay it doesn't Whee! super duper is what i say to this jetpack we even get it without needing to do violence everything comes up millhouse uh, that is triggered i shall trigger this by myself please give me a damsel i'm going to look this is a sign for this from the splunky gods saying this is your chance to turn everything around the narrative has been turning around uh, against you life has been tough and Splunky continues to humiliate you but here's your chance I'm trying to find a damsel that's all I'm trying to do here I don't think that there is any up here it's probably lower left corner that we did not explore yet but you know there's also a weird over here yeah I think that's worth a bomb to get Callie really really happy with my anus she will smile upon me and show me her teeth I may spot a cavity in there I'll tell her please make a dentist appointment Callie you can't be you can't be looking like that she was like thank you I've been procrastinating but this is the motivation that I needed to go and take care of my mental of my, of my dental hygiene sure and there will be a, a happy story for everybody involved I want those bombs I want them they, they, they belong to me each and every one is labeled with my name Bonk. that was just very casual murder I want you to not even pay attention to it I don't even know if I want to pick that up but it's an item so I am immediately conditioned to grab it don't know if it's the right choice though that pitcher smith ends up being kind of garbage so often <laughs> tempted to just not steal even though it is deliciousness <laughs> <laughs> well, sparrow's not gonna spawn in this one <laughs> oh we were in the line of fire but they were too damn stupid to work the trigger the only way that they're going to be shooting at you is because they trip you may know this is from actual personal experience of a caveman wielding a shotgun tripping and the shotgun goes off and isn't that glorious such a lovely thing that Splunky does that is actually coded I love that that's coded into the game if a caveman grabs a shotgun and then they proceed to treat to trip the shotgun will go off and the collateral damage may be Splunker in nature. All right. Unfortunately, we got nothing. Really, the most amazing turkey of all time. Uh, what a survivor. He deserves the presidential pardon right there, but I am a merciless son of a bitch. I don't give a crap about your desire to survive, turkey. I have a jetpack and a shotgun. I'm going to go out of my way to abuse it any way I see fit. Of course, it does mean shopkeepers basically it's hopeless now for shopkeepers to forgive me at all because he was aggroed and they uh, does that count actually i don't know that bit does it count if shopkeepers who are aggroed shoot their own bombs and explode <laughs> probably it does count so i'm going to assume that it does very lean because he was aggro the only reason he shot was because he was aggroed so uh I think it's pretty clear. Pretty clear. All right, no skeleton key. Now I'm I'm kind of doubtful. Does this skeleton key spawn from the piles, or is it from a skeleton that is resting on the piles? And it always looks like it was the the bone pile, but it was actually just a skeleton that was on top of it. Uh, I don't know. There's no reason to do anything other than uh, destroy this son of a one-eyed goat with my shotgun. Please, please, I <laughs> beg you. All right, get to the exit. Angry shopkeepers. I don't think I've ever gotten a victory with angry shopkeepers, in fact. It is 
it really does make a massive impact. It does make the... It is funny how we have gone back and forth so much. When I started, it was killing shopkeepers is a no-brainer. And I've gone back and forth on that, that assessment a good three times. Until finally I'm here when I'm like, if you want the safest and still not really sacrificing that much run, don't anger them. If you want a faster one, you steal. If you want uh, le epic troll fun time, go ahead and do as much violence as you like. Wow, oh, what a guy. What a guy! He found the vine and he's going to record a six second video in which he murders me. Alright, fella. <laughs> I did touch your butt. You don't need to get all offended about it. Pretty sure you gave consent by dressing the way that you do. I mean, come on. Just asking for it. Oh boy, that, isn't that a dangerous sight? <laughs> Mr. Caveman with his man bear trap. Okay, I should be able to just ignore that entire shopkeeper situation down there. Just go to the other side. Kill the filthy plant. Uh, Marvel of evolution. I'm not here as an anthropologist, though. I'm here. Would it be that be an anthropologist? I'm here as an aggressive invader. I'm here as a colonizer. Uh... Look, I want to cook this bomb without dying. That'll be great. Nice. I've spied with my gigantic oval-shaped eye. A guaranteed jar full of gist. Now, the question is, did I have it before? I'm not sure. Because uh, at first I thought way, way back... They get mad if you break into their lair. But I think it's simply that I put the bomb a little too close to them. If I just break into their lair like so, she's not going to get mad at me. Hello. Amazing. Die! Give me that skeleton key. You idiot. Anyway. <laughs> um, anyway, what I was saying is... We finally got that Sparrow spawn, but I've been killing shopkeepers this... All so obscure and random. Why is... I know it's not random. I know it. But it feels like it is. Because it's like... Okay. I stole. But then I murdered. She still spawned in the jungle. There's no way I was forgiven. There's that angry son of a bitch. So yeah, it, all that matters is that you steal and then you just find them. That's it. I think that's the bottom line of it. You steal, and you get out of that level without any further anger, and that's good enough. I guess that's my current narrative. Could be wrong about that. I have not looked it up. Feel free to disabuse me of my notions in the comments, but you're not to be trusted. You just make things up and just pull them right out of your rectum. The comments that I see... I don't trust them. I just, I do my own. You know, it's trust but verify. That is what I have. That is my current policy. Trust but verify. I'm going to make sure the information you're giving me is correct. It could be that. The bow. Because, you know, that is uh, our current goal that I have continually, continually failed at. Like, in the most egregious ways. It's like, have I even gotten to New Babylon? Yeah, 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 I did. And then I missed the actual... The actual statue that I needed to grab. I think clay is supposed to be a different color or something. Oh, yeah, okay. We'll use the bomb here. Watch out for terrible things. Ropes? Ropes? It used to be ropes is like, ah, I wanted bombs. Now it's like, yeah, hell yeah, give me all those ropes. Ropes are OP. I could not use enough ropes. I could have 99 ropes. It's like, I don't know if this is going to be enough. Rope me all the way. And if nothing else, we can use it as a, you know, self-erotic asphyxiation tool. It's fantastic. Uh, Kapala will be great. Let's do some preemptive 
digging into Callie's lair. Hoping. Wow. This spider has meals for the entire year. We're an amazing creature. Die it! Just destroy it. Let's destroy it. Yep, 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 yep. All right, let's <laughs> just go do the altar. See if we can get an alive idiot to be sacrificed. Yeah, baby. All right, find myself a uh, damsel. Life is going to be grand. What the hell did you say? Oh, I don't have boots. <laughs> like, what? What? Are you going to a bear trap? Oh, no. I don't have boots. <laughs> you're used to, you know, especially when you're robbing shopkeepers. By now, you most of the time are going to have those boots. Look, I don't want to mess with no giant spider. Let's kill it with fire. Another idiot completely vanquished by his own stupidity. Uh. Aha! Uh -huh. I was like, man, where's the damn damsel? The damn damsel, the damn Daniel, damn till. Damn Daniel, what are those? Are, are you happy? Are you happy that I'm bringing those back? I'm bringing those memes back, baby. Just you wait until I start saying all your base are belong to us. Do you guys see this bear trap? Because I was about to go in there chasing after, chasing after blood, and it would not have ended up well for poor Mar Margo. It would have been a terrible, terrible thing. Sure, grab me that stuff. All right. Another level complete. Let me quit with a bow. And nothing to lose. Die. Piece of trash. Give my arrow back. You're still alive. I hate you so much. <laughs> Which doctors? They actually are... Ah. They're better for your... Um... Cali count, the normal people. I actually went and looked at a guide on that. How many... <laughs> how many points each and every creature is. I didn't memorize it. Oh, I didn't memorize it, but I have a better idea of what everything is worth. It's an odd little uh, cave over here. Give me my arrow back, please. Seems like the black market entrance is on that side. Nothing else to be gained. I think enough time has passed. Some time ago. I was like, man, I had this, this personal medical emergency. I can tell that story deep into the into the jungle. I'm okay with that. Still not going to divulge names or nothing, but you know. It is a story that bears some telling. What the hell? Oh, there's my arrow. This guy can stun luck me, so I'd rather not mess with him. Kapow! Get wrecked, son. Okay, please. Some time ago. I'm talking about maybe two months ago now. So my wife got into this argument with a family member. She calls me to talk about it, you know, as, as spouses do. And we hang up and literally... Where's the damn black mark? Wasn't there a, a, a blink earlier? Definitely have the Ujarai now. Please don't make me miss the freaking black market again. I must concentrate now. I, the, the story must wait. Aha. Somewhere around here, but please don't destroy my pot. I must have my pot. It's, it's one of these. I, I ain't got no time to be finessing this up there it's behind the gold spot you son of a bitch why you do this to me <laughs> why you hate me Splunky too why talk about it we hang up uh oh please please I have only 10 minutes I mean 10 seconds I wish I had 10 minutes please get me all the way to the bottom Five seconds. Oh, ten, two seconds to spare. What a guy. <laughs> oh. And then, literally as I am starting to drive back to the office, she sends me a text saying... No, she gives you another call saying... She just texted me. She took a bunch of pills. 
and I don't have to worry about her anymore. So that's like uh, that's decision time. These garbage people. I'm just going to stand here and, and watch you kill yourselves like the violent idiots that you are. I'm telling you this story for several reasons. One, it's a cool anecdote that I had never had before. I mean, cool as in interesting. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it as one well, of the cool experiences I've had in my life. <laughs> it was anything but cool. Well, you know, it was interesting to deal with. It was definitely way out of my norm. Man, uh, these bombs are just not attaching to where I want them. Uh, how about we drop the bow? We only have 50 seconds here. I want the shotgun. I hate you so much, Mr. Shopkeeper. I hate you. There we are. All right, I need the shotgun. You still have another friend. I'm starting to be a little, a little careless. Because we only have so much time. All right, here we are. There we are. You're still alive! Oh, we got the kill at the very end. Ooh. All right, give me that stuff. Only two bombs. We need to go back for the bow as well. This is rough. Only two bombs. What you got down there? We need those bombs. We need them. The ghost is coming in five seconds. Now we need to go back for the bow. This guy is basically stuck there. I will. I do wonder. Why does this game hate me so much? I do wonder that sometimes. He's stuck. He's just stuck. Don't worry about it. Let's get out of here. No shopkeeper in the front, please. Shopkeeper in the front. <laughs> we had to. We had to rush through that exit. Just like I decided immediately. Like, assume the worst. Hang up. I told her I'll be right there. Hang up. Get onto that mail truck. Just floor it. Doing 40 miles an hour on a 40 mile, 80 miles an hour on an on a 40 mile an hour zone. Just rushing to her house because she lives. In the route that I delivered to. I thought for sure that we uh, were going to the domain of... What's her name? Arsenic? Pretty sure one, Pretty sure that's that's her name. Um, doing 80 miles on that road. Going freaking rushing. Assuming that my family member is about to die. So... Get to the house. Start just bashing on that door. Because I know that... Okay, you're not going to shoot me, are you? I'm just going to watch you die, Mr. Bond. Thank you so much. I hate you. All right, you did. Also going to uh, kill you a lot. Bang on the door. I know her roommate is in there. I'm banging on the door like I know I don't need to throw it down, but I am banging on it like I will if you don't open this damn door. So uh, the guy comes out. I... Tell him the story. Barge into that bedroom. She's just laying face down, completely groggy. Start yelling, what you take, what you take, what you take. Just tell me what you took. She's not responding in the sense that I want her to. She's just being, just leave me alone. I just want to sleep. Just let me die. So, you know, you just got to assume the worst. I don't, it may have been sugar pills. It may have been... A giant stash of freaking Anxi content, right? It can be anything. So I'm just going to assume you are just now. Your life is on the line. Okay, I'm gonna have to call emergency services. It says nothing to this. So I do it. I rattle off the address without a single stutter. Look, I am telling you this story for that reason too. Sometimes you wonder. In a crisis, am I going to be a complete zero? Am I going to panic? Am I going to be a garbage uh, burden to people around me that they have to manage me? Or am I going to be one of those people that, you know, kind of have a switch flips and they are actually helpful? 
and do what they need to do. I am happy to report, and you are, you don't really choose this, you're just born with it. Happy to report. I literally did everything right. Extremely efficiently and quickly. And I'm not going to make any bones. I'm being proud about that. I'm very happy. Can you keep the dog for later? I don't think so, but I will keep you safe, Major Stupid. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Uh, I will throw the bow in there for later, if only to give myself a false sense of of security that this is definitely in the bag and Olmec is not about to kill me. Like he often does, because I'm an idiot. Anyway. Call the emergency services. Rattle off the, the address right away. My voice is a little shaky, I think understandably. But other than that, I am doing everything as I, I am supposed to do it. One thing I'll tell you, brother, is like the response time of those, that ambulance and the, the trooper car. Holy crap. I don't think it was five minutes. It was like like three minutes tops that they were at my house. Maybe they are stationed really close to me or something. Uh, not at my house, but, you know, at, at my family member's house. Maybe they're stationed really close or something, but... Uh, impressive. I think the way that you deal with Olmec now, you don't attack him right away. You just let him loop a little bit, stand under him, let him throw the bombs. And uh, he'll create two giant shafts, eventually. Let him loop back. You want him to... Maybe the new easy way. You just stand here. Just stand right here. And he will look back and forth. Maybe you need to pay a little bit of attention. <laughs> but, uh... Seems like, like it's very easy for him to throw bombs down that way. You know, make a nice fat shaft. And then you hit him once and you're done. So that should be pretty neat. Anyway, very impressive. Emergency response re response team time. Very, very cool. The way that they did it. Uh, I went I had already I had gone back in make to try like I am going around the room trying to see what she may have taken. I'm looking at all the bottles. There's several of them. One of them is uh, rattling with only one or two left. Uh, I look at the label, don't know exactly where it is. So all I do is just grab every single pill, put it in my pockets just in case. She decides to, you know, take more or whatever. The emergency people, I am hearing the ambulance coming down the road, so I go out to receive them. Their roommate goes to follow me outside. I tell him, uh, can you stay behind to watch her, make sure she doesn't take a knife or something? And he does. So I go out and to receive the people. They take a little while to prepare, and you know, perfectly understandable. So they go around doing their thing. I tell them every question they ask. Try to answer it to the best of my ability. They go in there. She's still pretty non-responsive. But it's like she realizes, oh wait, this is kind of a big deal. So she starts answering questions. It's like the most pitiful. You know, uh, I think I found out. Like, I found out how people feel when they have to take care of a very late in their life family member and they can no longer they can no longer take care of themselves it's like a flip switches a flip switches in your head all those flips switching so much a flip switches in your head holy crap there is no, uh, and there's no going back, and it's a sad thing to say, but it's the truth. Like you've seen somebody at their worst. Please let me let, let go of that. I am terribly paranoid, by the way, about the, the all these aliens, so that's why I'm being extremely careful with this nonsense. Because I lost the previous run to this awful garbage. <laughs> I don't want to lose again. To freaking Olmec! Freaking humiliation. That's what's going on. Let me get rid of you. I think we made a shaft, didn't we? Nah. Almost, though. Okay, that should work if I stand here. Hey, accomplishment! We actually got through the freaking Olmec fight. Amazing. 
and you you can no longer see them as something that is not that. You can relate to the people that say, I don't want to remember my father, my mother, my grandfather like this, you know? It's like that's always going to be my brain now. It was it was uh, terrible. This is someone that you used to you know have certain ideas about sitting at their absolute lowest moment and being basically a child and not really understand their surroundings and stuff like it's just uh it was just unpleasant it was uh, that was, that's perhaps the most traumatic part of it from my standpoint but anyway they you know it's amazing the the paramedics the patience they have I was like, holy crap, I will not last in this job even a day. The way that they w patiently and very, very carefully extracted information. We want to go to Tidepool because we ha actually have a sparrow run here. Uh, so go this way. Doo -doo -doo -doo. The way they patiently extract the information, finally she was like... Uh, can we get you on onto the 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 wheelchair? And she was like, "Do I have a choice?" And the paramedics were like, uh, "We can't force you to do anything. It has to be your choice." And she was very much resisting that until the troopers got in. After they took all my statements and the the roommate statements and all that nonsense, you know, telling them all the information I had, I ratted myself out. I told them. I will uh, tell you that I was doing 80 <laughs> on the r on college road to to get here. He kind of looked at me funny. He was like, "That's the least of my concern right now, sir." <laughs> you know, you rat yourself out. You're in that mode of high heightened heightened cooperation. I guess I would say, like, you want to be the absolute most helpful you can be. In this situation. We finally got to this idol. We finally got here. Do they get mad? Oh, we got it, baby. I was spoiling the comments that my theory is wrong. Amazing. A walrus idol carved from an extra large diamond. One of Madame's most precious three treasures. Pretty sure they gonna be mad if I steal this. There's a shotgun there. But obviously it's happening. Kill you. Obviously it's happening. He's going to be mad. Preemptive strike. That reflected. Uh-oh. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted. We do have a plethora of sticky bombs. And we have uh, spike shoes. You're going to... I was about to say, you're going to go straight to the death basket. Somehow, somehow, I have the uncanny ability, and I believe by now this is a superpower. This is a superpower. I have an incredible ability to die to walrus woman. I just make it happen, baby. Against all odds, I get into walrus's domain, and I'm like, yeah. Just get me that kill. Just kill me, kill me, kill me right now. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> it's like, what is going on? It is so stupid. Please stop moving so that I may give you on to Cali. Stop moving, garbage people. Thank you. I'm now fully recovered. All right, so obviously we need to, like, we're not lost. We're just wandering, right? We're not lost, we're wandering. It's all fine, it's, it's perfectly okay. But it's bad. What just happened is bad. Hopefully we'll get a good spawn in the level after this one. My good, everything's fine. Oh, no! Almost did it. Give it to Callie? Give it to Callie. I am sure the monkey will not be white. Give it to Callie. Ah, I was hoping for a white monkey. But have you ever done it? Science must be done. I think that's worth that stupid amount of money. It's like 60000 or something like that. 
Uh, but I had to. I had to give it to Callie. wonder why they didn't just make it into a white monkey. It would be a really, really cool little tiny Easter egg for uh, uh, journal hunters. That's okay. Sure, let's go in here. Get it done. So I am in this heightened cooperation mode. So I am writing myself out, trying to do <laughs> the absolute most I can to be helpful to people that are there to resolve a terrible situation. But anyway, once the state troopers got in there, they got her, they convinced her to get onto the the wheel chair. Clear a path and all that stuff. And off she goes into the ambulance. It took forever to strap her down into the ambulance. Uh, probably they had to do paperwork and stuff. So, you know, I waited until it was clear that she was taken care of. She was uh, taken out to the hospital. And that's basically the end. We was about a, a little over an hour from start to end. Pretty damn stressful experience. <laughs> and that is, that's my story for you. Nothing that, you know, will keep me up at night. Nothing that will just have horrendous repercussions for the rest of my life or nothing. But boy, do I wish I didn't have to go through it. That would be great. No, I haven't gone through it. That being said, you know, better to be the rescuer than the rescuee in any uh, situation in my life. There is a shotgun. There's no reason not to murder. I do not know I left it behind. I just don't remember where. I think it's right here. We have five whole minutes. Let's get this done. Let's do it. Get the fish dead. Uh, we can clone the present box. Yo! Evil skeleton. I don't want to cl clone the fish. That seems like an idiotic thing to do. I did it the one time for the shits and giggles. Clone the present or open the present hoping to clone something good. Let's clone the present box. If I find the damn gun. We may get something incredible out of the present box. But overall... There's still a shopkeeper here. Completely forgot that's a thing. Please don't find me. Look at all these beautiful presents. It feels like Christmas. Okay, not interested in most of these things. We didn't get a whole bunch of health. That camera is tempting, but obviously we want Excalibur. Let's just get through the exit, right? We're done. All ready to go. Fantastic. You cannot match my incredible powers of killing myself to Walrus Lady. The, you cannot match it. It's impossible. I have the incredible ability. I am actually taking some time here to pause because we need to hurry a lot. We need to find the entrance right away, get my jetpack at the exit, get my jetpack to the, you know, somewhere convenient. Well, we, we are not going to resurrect, so we probably want to leave the jetpack as low as we can. And then, you know, groom the entire area to get things done the way it needs to be done. There's nothing here. Ah, there's a cave entrance. Please let it be the cave entrance that I want. Don't kill me. Oh, this is it, isn't it? Nice, found it super quick. Uh, let's do us since we are here so quick, we can make a scouting. Attempt. Okay, there's just no other path. Alrighty. So, let's go back out. Leave Excalibur and the jetpack because it does explode if it gets even grazed by anything. So, we want... Careful with these. Uh, terrible. This is, this is just deadly. Deadly level. Alright. Where the shopkeeper? He should lava himself. And he should be... Do it next to the next to the, right on the exit. It should be okay to get back to it. Shouldn't be too much of a challenge to get back to it. Very worried about all these corals. Holy crap! <laughs> oh man! All right, all right, good, good, good. We should have plenty of time. We were extremely diligent and lucky to get a great cave spawn. Please give me. A feasible. Oh, there's nothing that sucks. Still doable. 
but difficult as hell. This sucks. This super sucks. To the point that I, once more I have that... I have that... Uh, I have that circumstance. Do we... Man, he's so... I think I just keep the jetpack. I need to make that decision again. Oh wait, it's not it's not a, a decision I can make anymore. <laughs> because I forgot. We actually need to get this done right now. That's not good. That's not good. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm super dead. I'm not completely dead, but I am super dead. Super dead. There's no saving myself right here. Especially since I waited so long. Yep. <laughs> you do need to destroy the block that is right under. But it is difficult to get the block. What I should have done is attach the bomb exactly to the corner. I think that would have created a, a block right over. And then you put the ropes on the, on the place. Anyway, well, that's... that's the Walrus Lady. My nemesis. My new nemesis. But we did get that... Ivory Idol, I guess it's a Diamond Idol. Sacrificing a Kali altar. You never thought that that would happen, right? You didn't expect that little bit of science to be done. So that is, you know, silver lines, small things that you can do to advance your your position as a, Sp a, Sp a Spooky Master. And I'll leave you with this idiotic melting that I subjected myself to. Should I just kept the jetpack and kept going? You are at the mercy of the level generation at the bottom. Almost. Hopefully enjoy yourself. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, maybe don't take a bunch of sugar pills and pretend you're killing yourself. <laughs>